Hello, my name is Sean Sands. This is Kerbal Space Program. We are back. Back in, uh, I mean, it's back in Kerbal Space Program, right? Uh, today's mission is going to be to make a plane. Take that plane to the North Pole. Maybe put some, do a little science in a couple of places. We have some new uh, science tools since the last time. Where's all this stuff? Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, we can toss in like the seismic accelerometer. We can do, uh, you know, atmospheric surveys, things like that. Uh, but ultimately, we just want to hit the pole. And we'll maybe pick up a couple of biomes on the way. Um, not going to pick up any missions associated with it. And this probably, hopefully, will be a fairly straightforward um, episode. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we're going to upgrade our runway for sure. Um, yeah, do we want, do I care? Uh, I might as well just upgrade. I don't think it'll come up. And we do want action groups because we're going to put some science in there. Uh, so we need a Mark II cockpit, uh, and we will have a pilot and not an engineer. We're going to want a scientist. So, Stephanie, you're up. Um, because we may land more than once, and assuming we can do more than one, uh, uh, you know, bit of science, then, then we might want to be able to reset those and store those. Uh, so we do want, yeah, a payload. Now, fair warning, I'm not, I'm not great at making planes. I mean, it just we're gonna do. We're going to do the best we can, and we're going to go with, you know, we're going to go from there. Um, hmm. Okay, so as I understand it, you want the center of mass. You want the thrust. Nope, not thrust. The, what do you call this? The, um, you want this blue thing behind the yellow thing, right? And... Do you want lighter things to the back or heavier things? So you want the center of mass more forward? All right, we're gonna. So okay, let's try. Uh, let's try it a couple of ways and see which which of these things work. We'll work one with the payload there, and then the uh, fuel tanks. Maybe we'll put a couple of fuel tanks on, and then I like this this. All right, so that moves. The more we added that, the more it put the weight toward the back. So what if we did this? Huh. It's closer, right? So do we want heavier up front? Does that seem right? What about middle? <laughs> what if we just split the difference? And then we can always move stuff around, right? We don't have to solve this problem immediately. Uh, and let's see what happens. Okay, so that puts our, our center of lift ahead of our center of mass, which is not what we want for sure. And the more mass we add to the back, right? More mass we add back here. Let's get some swept wings. Um, and we will. Okay, yeah, no, okay. We, then maybe we can begin to use wings to move that forward and back. So the more mass we put in the back, the more the center of lift goes backwards. It's probably patently obvious. Uh, we're gonna touch up those wings because they, they look silly to me. Those are too big. Um, just kind of have something in here. Oop. And then we will move those around a little bit. Kind of like that. Do we maybe want to move them this way a little bit? looks kind of jet-ish 
Uh, we need engines. Right? I'm doing this in totally the wrong order. All right. I want the most, I would, your most powerful injures, engine, sir. Uh, stationary thrust, 85 kilonewtons, 120 kilonewtons. So we probably want these. Uh, let's see. ISP, 10,500 at sea level, 9,000. Everything says these are going to be the best to me. Um, max thrust, 120 kilonewtons. Yeah, these seem like the way to go. Put a couple of these on the back. Uh, so we need air intake. That's going to be aerodynamics, I assume. I'm going to put these back here. And let's rotate those a bit. Shoop, shoop. Nice. Happy with that, I think. I don't want to spend all day here making this plane either, but no, it's fine. Um, let's put a storage unit. Nope, we're going to take it down to that. And we're going to want to be able to store science because uh, we're going to put, oh, we want a Kerbal Engineer in there. Are we going to do the whole Science Junior thing? I don't know. Maybe we'll take a Mystery Go. There we go. There. And the size. Make accelerometer and a gravioli detector. And a fluid spectrometer. Can we put it? Yeah, like right on the side there. It's very nice. I like that. Uh, thermometer and a barometer. And that's plenty. Pick up some various signs from different places. Okay, and we'll close that. And it's auto strut, just to make sure it all stays fairly solid. Uh, let's see. We need a tail fin, obviously. What would make a nice tail fin? Ooh, I like that. Let's go ahead and turn. And I wouldn't mind moving that back a bit. Maybe down a little bit. Right. Hmm. We're going to have to have the tail fin, or the, not the tail fin, but the wings all the way back here. All right, let's test here. So we're making our um, uh, sh uh, I don't know, just um, air um, aereo plane. It's a stupid name. Uh, befitting its station because it's a stupid looking plane. So I want to try this again now that we've locked this in. If I move this all back here, yeah, that's much worse. So it seems we do want the Game's like, wait, what? What are we doing? Don't worry about it, game. Everything will be fine. We'll get there. Get this all connected back up. Boop. And then we will move these back. And we will move these back. Yeah, they're just going to have to be kind of far back. Hmm. Now 
Maybe some more wings back here? Because you know what they say. Anytime you're having trouble, just add more wings. That's that's an old, old saying. Old aeronautics saying. Why can't I move these back? Uh, maybe they need to be on a different piece. Can they be on this piece? There we go. And then, oop. Let's try and double that up. Maybe move these here. Like that. There we go. Does that look like a plane? <laughs> what if we had a couple of these here? Then we could technically move these a little forward, couldn't we? There we go. That seems a little more reasonable. We need some control surfaces on there. Um... Good. All right. Is that too far back? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, do we want a communicatron on there? Sure. Why not? Just for fun. In case we want to do any crew reports or anything like that. So we have science back here. Maybe we will slide those wings up a little more still. Turn off. I do want them out like that. I just don't want them clipping through. Okay. Uh, we need a way to land. That's the thing we do, right? So we'll turn on. And we'll put another one up front. Are those lined up? Kinda. Okay, good. What am I forgetting? Uh, let's see. Battery? I don't really think we need a battery. I don't think this, that's not how this works. We have a way to land. We have, I'm not going to put parachutes on. I'm going to, oh, you know what we do need? We need aero brakes. Uh, can I put the aero brakes on, please? Maybe turn off. Pretty sure I want them up top. Yeah. And do we want to move those around a little bit? Right like that, maybe? Good. We have fuel, we have engines, we have air intake. Wouldn't mind kind of bringing those down just a little bit. Maybe in... Yeah, I like that better, I think. Maybe doing a little rotation on them. I assume that won't break anything. We have control surfaces. We have... Guys, is there any chance it just flies right away? Any chance at all? Um, okay. Our aeroplane is ready for a test flight, I think. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of what I must be forgetting. There must be something. I want to move these uh, back just a little bit. Don't want them sticking out or anything, but. Good. 
So how does this look? Dumb? Looks, I don't know. Looks like a plane. What do I know? <laughs> I'm not a plane scientist. Uh, the wings are kind of thin. Uh, boy, does that give us, now that I'm looking at down here, like the wings just look like small? Uh, let's give it a test flight. And we'll save and just see how it goes. Uh, we will turn on SAS. Okay. You do wheelies. Nice wheelie. I will do brakes. Good. And B does deploy those. Very good. All right, let's throttle up and see how we do. <coughs> oh, awesome. There you go. You're welcome. Um, good. Yeah, those wing, wings just seem small. We're a little off balance here. Feels like we're pulling a little to the right. And we're slewing all over the place. Okay, well, we were able to get off the ground. I wouldn't call it pretty. How stable is it? I don't feel like we're getting a ton of lift here. I want to adjust the wings and see how that works. Okay, so we were able to get off the ground. Um, let's adjust those wings a little bit. <laughs> what happens if we move them back? No, forward. What happens if we move them forward? Trying to click this right here. I want to click that wing. Thank you. Put it more in line with, I mean, it's going to really, we're going to talk about doing wheelies before. Um, so maybe we want to move this up a little bit. Up and in, maybe. All right, let's see how that changes things. that make easier or harder to lift off still doing those wheelies wheelies worse <laughs> but... <laughs> but you... <laughs> this is my vertical takeoff and landing no oh, it's a nothing it's not that at all uh okay Cause all the weights at the back. I mean, I get it. We get nope, nope, nope. Let's. That is going to be weird to try and control. Uh, let's move them. God, I think I'm making it worse. Just curious. The stability is going to be awful. I really liked having it at the back, though. Uh, we'll turn on SAS. Well, we're going straight. Nope. And it's harder to take off. Definitively harder to take off. I mean, it's possible, but okay. All right, good. That answers my question, which is that we do want the wings more toward the back. Okay. 
And so we can now put these more on the back on the wings. We will have to rotate them again. And do we want to move them? They need to be rotated more. Okay. Save that and see how that does. So we're getting off the ground. I mean, that is something, right? Like we're not, we're not, not getting off the ground. Let's say it's on. Throttle up. No wheelies. Sixty meters per second, seventy, eighty, sliding all over. Okay, we're not getting any. <laughs> uh, that was terrible. Um, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, what am I not doing wrong, right? We got We don't have our our wheels locked, do we? Do we want them locked? Steering is enabled. Steering direction normal. Turn on SAS. I don't think RCS does anything. Let's just try that again. Full throttle. Hundred and seventy and now it's even harder to get off the ground. Okay. Bye. <laughs> it took flight on its own. Look at it go. <laughs> uh our first try was the best try so far. That's ridiculous. Um Might try bigger, just a bigger wing surface soon. Let's try that. Nothing's in the way of our engine, so I'm not worried about that. <clears throat> T, throttle up, activate engines. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. It just won't do it. Okay, it will do it. Pull up the landing gear. All right. Here we go. Let's head due north and go find a biome. See if we can land. Uh, good. It seems pretty stable actually now. Pretty happy with it. Uh, my curiosity. Can we do any science? I don't know if we'll have any mystery goo useful. No. Nope. Uh, but maybe our. Nope, seismometer won't tell us anything. Gravity data? Oh, 
Also, you know what we didn't bring? Somewhere up here is a big, dumb, stupid, uh, uh, what do you call it? A thing where you measure the atmosphere. So we don't have that. Do we care? I don't think we do. All right, so we are going pretty fast. Don't have a ton of altitude. All right, I think we're gonna try and do a quick save and we're gonna see how landing goes just out here on the grasslands. So we're gonna throttle all the way down, extend our landing gear. And then we're gonna put on the brakes at some point. Don't wanna aim for that kind of big hilly part. And we're gonna toggle the brakes on. Air brakes are up. Slowing us down nicely. Gonna toggle them back off so we can control our descent reasonably well. All right, toggle them back on. We got a lift. Why can't you lift? Yeah. She won't lift her nose. It's a fundamental problem with it. I was pulling up that whole time. It just would not lift its nose. Uh, reverse space plane hanger. Why can't I pull the nose up? Let's try different wings. Um, wait, we want this just there, I think. We want some of this in here. Don't we? That's just too much. That's way too much. That's dumb. Hmm. I don't know how to make a wing that doesn't look stupid. Nope. I'd like to find something that has a similar sort of profile to it. Actually, maybe that's the way to go. Maybe this, and then we pull this. Like that. And now it's a, it's a falcon, it's a bird. You're a beautiful bird now. Nope, that's too big. Did it again. Maybe just another one of these E's. That looks ridiculous. That looks stupid. Um, I 
Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> She's beautiful, just as she is. Uh, no, nope, that's the big giant one. I want one of those that's smaller. Why can't you give me smaller parts? Uh, nope, that's a big giant stupid thing again. Like this? I don't know what I do. No idea what I'm doing right now. But that's not good. Um, move it. I have an idea in my head that is might work. Now I actually want to rotate it a little bit. So. Here's my patchwork quilt plane. <laughs> I've made the worst plane I've ever seen. This is a dumb plane. Oh, I thought this was going to be much easier. I thought I had an idea. I thought I, I thought I had it all together. Uh, okay, so let's work back from here. God, those tiny little freaking wings just look terrible um okay let's start with that no no and okay now, can I copy that? Yeah, definitely what I want you to do is stick straight up. And that is a unique idea that you've come up with. Uh, and then do I have a little kind of end piece? It's the giant delta wing. D, maybe? I need to... It's just not right. Um, I want you to act independently, please. You, just you. Okay. Well, not just you, then. Got to made it. Ah, oh, blargle. This isn't that hard. Why am I making it this hard? All right, you know what?
control surfaces. And we just we gotta we gotta make something happen now. Okay, good. And uh, we'll grab one of these. Put it in. Can open up our cargo bay. Go ahead and put that the uh, atmosphere thing in there. Why are we pulling to the right? Oh, fine. How does this do? Uh, Okay, sure, sure. <sighs> this is why I don't do planes. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Would moving the landing gear back help with that? Yeah, moving the landing gear helped with that. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. Okay. All right. Hang on. Swing around to the north, and we're going to try the same thing again. Okay, we're going to call it a success if we can just land it, and then I'll go get, I'll go get science up at the poles. I don't know. That's going to take a while. Maybe not. I don't know. So let's just get it moving fast. We're going point eight Mach point eight. We'll get over. Time warp because nothing can go wrong there. It's a very steady vehicle in the air, at least. Oh, hey, we can do the uh, atmosphere thing. Nice. All right, and now we're going to slow all the way down. I'm going to extend the landing gear. I'm going to do a quick save. We're going to toggle on the brakes. I'm going to toggle off the brakes. I want to get lower. I want to get closer to the ground. I feel like we have some attitude adjustment this time. I mean, obviously, landing in a field is not easy on its own anyway. Can we land this thing? Why are these moving in different directions? I mean, they're doing kind of what I want them to do, I guess. So I feel like these are inverted incorrectly. Maybe not. All right now we're going to toggle on the brakes. We're going to kill the throttle. We are able to keep the nose relatively up. It's 
I'll go this back off. Come on, pull up. Pull up, 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 pull up. Nope, okay, well. Let's try that again. Okay, interesting. This is my new landing strategy. game is so dumb sometimes and jump over the corner and technically that was fine <laughs> very good landing you guys everybody did it everybody's safe we're gonna do some science uh run an atmospheric oh no we gotta observe mystery go oh i didn't have the uh, engine all the way off we'll keep experiment uh, log gravity data, we'll keep that. We'll log the temperature, we'll keep that. We will log pressure and keep that. We will get Stephanie out of there. And she can go put stuff away. There you go. That's what planes are for, walking around. Any EVAs to do? Yeah, heck yeah. Um, I guess just jump right down there, Stephanie. Don't break anything. Like yourself. Uh, we're going to take the data, collect data, remove, and restore. Take data, download data, store those experiments, take, log seismic, keep, store, oh, I didn't take it. Store. Let's rerun the atmosphere analysis. Good. And we will download that data and store it. Very good. Now, here's the big question. Can you get out of there, Stephanie? Can you get around the... Uh... There you go. Oh, nice. All right. We'll board back up. Nope. It's over here. Grab and board. Close this up. Turn off our brakes. Do a quick save. And then let's see if we can go to another biome. Can we do a crew report here? Can transmit that while we're taking off. No, we can't. <laughs> that was. That's on me. All right, full throttle, and we will, it's a long way to the, uh, to the pole. We'll find one more biome and land there, and then we'll keep, I'll, I'll keep going on my own. So wherever the grasslands right now, I mean, hills are obviously going to be extraordinarily tough to land in. Let's talk about uh, where we are while we're, I mean, I know we're in the air above the grasslands. Um, not sure where I want to go. The Duna mission felt like a real kind of triumph. I've been thinking, I mean, I know I mentioned doing some mining. I don't, I just, like I went back to the moon doesn't seem super interesting. Um, I think we're going to plot I don't know. I think we ought to check to see, like in Kerbal Alarm Clock, what other uh, planets are out there that we can, that are reasonable for us to tackle in the near term. And maybe go try that. I don't see us landing in the hills. I mean, do you? You saw our last day in landing, right? <laughs> Just, I don't, I don't know. Uh, so we'll do a quick save and we will time warp a bit. And we'll just kind of truck along here. Keep an eye out. Oh, she likes to tip down. Um, so, I mean, there's... There's lots of things we could do. But I'm kind of getting to that point where it feels like most... Like, it was kind of a bummer figuring out that we had unlocked all the rocketry stuff. Um, 
That's where that's where my heart of hearts always is with this game is in the core rocketry stuff, and knowing we're not going to unlock some more rockets in the near future is it's. I mean, it's just it's something to kind of take in and decide what that tells us, because we have everything. We have all the resources available to us now at this point um, in terms of getting to. Uh, and when I see we're over another the biome. Like how far have we come? You know, we've come a decent bit. It's a long way to the, the pole, though. Uh, that doesn't feel like grasslands. So, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe I've never been to... I've been to Eve and I've been to Duna before. And here's what I'm thinking. I think we're going to start heading to the end game here. And we're going to figure out a planet I've never been to before... And we're going to go there and we're going to do a bunch of science and get home. And I think that's it. I do think that's it. I've, I've enjoyed my time with Kerbal Space Program. I've enjoyed hanging out with all of you. And I hope you stick around because I'll be doing some other games and other series. I've got a few in the workshop that I'm, I'm planning to take on. Uh, we have a, uh, uh, my partner, Sean Andrich, who helps me run the website. Uh, and I are going to do a... Um, a video for Friday that's a different game, just us doing some fun stuff. Uh, but I've kind of hit, I'm, I'm hitting that wall where it's like, okay, I've done, I've done Kerbal. I, I've done a lot of it and I've enjoyed it and I love the game very deeply. Um, but I got some other things I want to do. I want to play, I want to finish up my EU4 campaign. For those of you who are watching both, we're, we're coming up on the very end of that as well. We've achieved a lot of our goals. That audio is kind of loud, isn't it? turn that plane to sound down a bit so i think what we're going to do is we're going to plot out a course and a plan to go to a uh, plan that i haven't been to before and we're going to go from there and honestly i think i'm going to go ahead and end this video here too because i mean i can't like it, it, it's just a long way to the pole. <laughs> like it's just a long way to the pole uh, we'll do that atmospheric analysis. Log some gravity data. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Um, yeah, I know there's a lot of good ideas, but I, I, I think I'm ready to start um, start getting to the end of our Kerbal Space Program experience. We've accomplished a lot, uh, and and I don't want to get bored with the game. That's just that's never fun. So. Yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I think when we come back, we plan our finale. It's going to be several episodes, too. Like, we're, I mean, particularly if we're going somewhere I've never been before, that's going to be exciting, and it's going to take a lot of a lot of work um, to get there. So we, we still got some time together. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Um, what I'll probably do is pick, I'll leave this plane in the north, on the pole, uh, and we'll pick up there when... We start the next uh, next round. Anyway, as always, my name is Sean Sanders. Thank you for joining me for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I know it was a lot of me. For, this is sort of why I've been avoiding doing a planned episode because I knew it was going to just be a lot of me ming and tang and uh, I don't know uh, at the screen for a while. Uh, but you know, hopefully you hopefully you've been enjoying the series and uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Anyway. Thanks for joining me. See you again real soon.